Hi everyone, today I'm going to film the part 2 video. If you haven't seen the part 1, please um, go and have a look because you'll find it really useful. And I do apologize for any background noise. I have been waiting and waiting for the builders to kind of um, stop, but they are kind of um, going mad today. <laughs> so uh, apologies for that. Anyways, so just to repeat myself quickly, this is comparison of four watercolor brands at a similar um, level and quali quality level. So White Nights by Nievska Palitra, um, commonly known as St. Petersburg White Nights, Mission Gold, Daniel Smith and Schminke Horadam. So um, I have 10 colors on this um, side and part two, and then I had 10 colors for the previous part one. So um, the um, the idea is that I swatch out the same kind of or a very similar color and see which one I like most and why and how different they are and how different the pigment um, the pigment mixes are if there are more than one etc etc just to kind of look in in depth and it's very useful, I found it very useful because it gives me such a better idea um, about what the watercolors look like when they're side by side. So, here I have um, Prussian Blue. It is the same pigment in all four brands and it is PB27. Um, and you can see quite a big difference. So to start off with, I would say that probably um, White Nights is my favorite and then the Mag Mission Gold, um, Magella Mission Gold looks the brightest. In most cases they are the brightest. As you can see this column is definitely the brightest. Um, then Daniel Smith is a right and probably my least favorite Prussian blue would have to be Schminke just because there is really um, not much interest. I'm trying to, I'll try to zoom in um, so that hopefully you can see better. So as you can see it's quite different to the other Prussian blue as a general sort of rule these three are quite similar and um, this one is a little bit different. So next one is Fallow Green. Um, it is named differently ranging from Emerald Green and Viridian but essentially it is the same pigment. So here again we have a, this, the same pigment PG7 in all fours and you can see again um, these three are pretty similar and then Schminke seems to be more muted, just like um, the Prussian Blue. So out of them, Viridian is again, um, the Mission Gold is again the brightest. So next one, and then I'd probably say that these two are very similar, very similar. On the camera they actually don't look as similar as they do in real life but they do real um, they do look quite similar so the next one is olive green and here to be honest with you it's kind of looks like a mishmash it does they don't look anything like each other there is n n no similarity but um, in white nights the olive green has three pigments which is PG17, PY1 and PBK, they didn't say which number. And then in Mission Gold, it's actually very close to Sub Green. I wouldn't call this color Olive Green. Um, if I just quickly compare... So, here is what I mean. I pulled out my Daniel Smith dot card and their Sub Green, oops, over here, is very similar in fact to Mission Gold. Um, olive green so these two colors have a very strong similarity if I show you on the swatch card 
right next to it, you can see how similar they are. So this, this one here is olive green, and this is the subgreen by Daniel Smith, and this is uh, Magello Mission Gold. So um, there is actually an olive green in Daniel Smith, and hand, in hand side, I think I should have picked that one, and it would have probably be if I just put it right here. You can see this one works much better than the um, green gold that I have picked and I think I might have just got distracted at that point because I was meaning to actually pick this one originally so um, this one is obviously a little bit too green like too yellow green kind of thing for this palette so like I said there is um, an olive green and you could have done that or um, <laughs> you could have used that olive green if you were thinking of putting it into your palette. So in terms of Schminke, um, let's have a look at what Schminke has to offer. So Schminke's olive greens, are um, really there isn't um, anything else that you could have picked. So olive green yellowish is the only fitting colour, which is the one that I have here. And you can see that, again, it's quite different to these colours. I would go as far as saying that, again, um, out of them, the four, this one is my least favourite. Um, it kind of looks more like khaki to me, rather than olive green. And it's also very, I'll bring it up closer, it's very, um, it has that kind of flat um, look to it, whereas if you look at Daniel Smith Green Gold or even Michelle's Olive Green or um, My Beloved White Knight's Olive Green, you can see a lot of movement and texture there, texture, um, I mean sort of flow of the watercolour that creates that beautiful um, effect. I kind of am missing that in Schminke right here. So let's carry on and look at yellow ochre. Now yellow ochre is a color that I by definition just uh, try to stay away from because I haven't come across a yellow ochre that I would really love. But having done this swatch, um, it makes me actually want to use Mission Gold's yellow ochre number one. There is also yellow ochre number two that they have. And if I quickly pull out the pigment information, you will see that, so here is the number one which I have, and it's a com composition of PY42 and PY150, and they also have yellow ochre number two, which is a single pigment, PY42. So again, if you prefer single pigment, you can have that you can buy a separate color. So let's have a look at the pigments. So first of all, White Knights is my least favorite, along with Daniel Smith Yellow Ochre. Both of them I really dislike because they're very watery and Again, when I say dislike, it doesn't mean there is anything particularly wrong. It's just the watercolors that I prefer um, are usually more uh, vibrant and transparent at the same time. So here I'm, I'm lacking vibrancy and Daniel Smith particularly I find quite dull, I have to say. So in White Nights we have PY43 and PY1, so two pigments here, two pigments for Mission Gold, PY42, PY150, and uh, it's a single pigment Daniel Smith, PY43, and it's a single pigment for Schminke, PY42. Schminke's is actually okay, it has obviously a lot more colour than these two, so I quite like that. However, if I look at Mission Gold, it kind of makes me want to use this one. It just has a little bit of something that is more ple pleasant, uh, more pleasing to the eyes. So if you compare them, you can see more interest in this color than this. But this one is a single pigment, so if that's um, something you're after, then obviously you would 
rather go for this color. Next one is Burnt Sienna. So um, let's have a look. In White Nights it's a single pigment PBR7. In Mission Gold it's got three um, pigments which they tend to have in a lot of their watercolors three pigment um, mixes and this is something I am not too happy with but their colors do look brighter than others for sure um, so here we are PBR 25, PR 112 and PY 150 when we go over to Daniel Smith it's um, it's quite different it's actually closer to the second row of colors it has that kind of um, a more kind of reddish brown look to it. So um, there um, Burnt Sienna is a single pigment PBR7 and finally Schminke is Burnt Sienna which I like. If I had to pick my favorite two it would, it would be Mission Gold and Schminke and it's PR101 and PBK9 purely because of their vibrancy. I think they're very beautiful. Also Daniel Smith Burnt Sienna is super granulating so if that's something you like then that would be a good option for you because it's a single pigment. And then let's move on to the next one. It's the English Red, commonly known as English Red. It sometimes is called English Venetian Red and um, it might be that Venetian red is the same thing as well in some brands, but it really depends. So in um, White Nights we have a single pigment PR101, then we have single pigment PBR25 in Mission Gold, it's called Red Brown, and um, then we have Permanent Brown, which is PBR25, and it's very pretty. A very very pretty color and English Venetian Red for Schminke PR 101 so these two are the same pigment and these two are the same pigment and they are actually I'd say I'm happy with probably these three are my favorites and White Nights I'm not too keen it's okay, nothing wrong with that color, but just compared to these three colors, they seem to be a lot more rich um, than this color here. So let's move on to the <laughs> boring dull colors. I will just make some space over here. So we have um, Burnt Umber. So Burnt Umber in White Nights is a single pigment, PBR7. Then in Mission Gold, it's called it's called the same, so it's it's all the same na um, name. Burnt Amber PBR seven, PBR twenty five, PY hundred fifty. So again, um, a mix of three um, pigments. And then Daniel Smith, it's PBR seven, the same as White Knights, and also PBR seven in Schminke. So those three are single pigments, and. Um, I don't know. I, I I think they're all all four are okay. I just so this is Schminke. This one is Daniel Smith. This is Mission Gold and White Knights. Um, in general, this is not a color I use, so um, I wouldn't even kind of want to pick anything. And they're kind of very similar. So let's move on to Amber. So Amber in White Knights is PY43, PBR7 and PBK. They didn't put a number here so I'm not sure which pigment black it is exactly. But that's what it looks like. Then in Mission Gold we have um, Raw Amber and it's called PBR7, so, uh, the pigments are PBR7, PY65. It is quite different. Mission Gold's um, raw amber is very different to the three colors over here, so they're quite similar. Then um, in Daniel Smith, it's also called raw amber, and it's PBR7. It's a single pigment, 
um, which is present in the mixes here. So it's in this color and this color as well. And then when we move over to Schmincke, it's a little bit of a surprising color. It's called Green Number and it's PBR7 as well. But I would have to say it's definitely my least favorite, although I don't use these colors, but looking at four of them, it's kind of very watery and very um, unnoticeable. It sort of looks like dirty water to me rather than color. You know when you use, um, when you do like swatches and you do a lot of colors and at the end you have this like dirty water in the glass, that's what it, exactly what it looks like to me. And I was a little bit surprised because, let me have a look, why did I pick, um, so green number is over here, there wasn't anything else to pick um, in terms of the other um, umbers, uh, there is the burnt umber and the transparent umber which obviously are not the right colour, but the most fitting colour would have been Van Dyke Brown which actually I turn around so here you can see uh, Van Dyke Brown is over here so this color it is exactly what you're looking for so these two are very similar to that but it's called Van Dyke Brown so I don't know um, in terms of pigment I don't remember what oh yeah I do it was actually the same PBR7 so I was very tempted to pick Van Dyke Brown um, but I did not just because I don't know I felt like sort of color wise and the name the names of it kind of would sit this one and by the way green umber is uh, one of the new colors so let's move on to sepia so sepia traditionally is a mixed color so there is more than um, one pigment in white nights it's pr102 pr187 and pbk again not stating which um pigment and in mission gold it's pbr7 pbk7 and compared to the four this one is again more intense and I'd say cooler. It's cooler than the others probably. So this one is quite warm. Daniel Smith is probably the warmest. PBR7, PBK9 and Schmincke is PB15 colon 1, PBR7 and PBK9. So um, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'd say I'm quite happy with these two colors here. So finally, paints gray. Um, so paints gray. Let me just double check. In um, Mission Gold, does it exist? No, actually, it doesn't exist. No, it does. Sorry, it's over here. So they do have this uh, pigment, and it's PB. 15 colon 3 PV19 and PBK7 if you fancy to get it and I don't have it in the palette it doesn't come in the 36 colors and so in um, white nights all of them are quite pretty um, except for the the Schminkes are is is more blue than the others so PBK7, PB15 and PV, so that's pigment violet but it doesn't again give a number. Then Daniel Smith is PB29, PBK9. I kind of like them equally. I'd say this one um, has more depth to it. And um, Payne's Grey Bluish is PBK6, PB15 colon 6, PB15 colon 2 and as you can see it's quite a bit more bluish so not something I would expect from a typical paints grey but if you look at Schmincke they actually don't have the classic paints grey and this colour that you have here paints grey bluish is the only paints grey that they have. They don't have any other paints greys. So um, that I found interesting. 
and yeah so i hope you found this useful let me just zoom out a little bit again so you can see it in full and it is like i said it's a very good exercise to do with your watercolors whichever watercolors you have or you want to use or you just bought just do comparison and have a look but these are my sort of four top favorite watercolors that i use regularly and it definitely helped me to pick out which color i like from which brand and that potentially could help me to create a um, palette, a completely custom palette where I just pick out watercolors from different brands and just make this kind of top favorite colors um, throughout these whole brands. So um, thanks for watching and see you soon.